In this video, I'm um, going to attempt to give you some tips for memorizing the integral of secant to the third x dx. Um, this is a requested video. Somebody requested and asked if I had any really good tips for this. And um, in all honesty, I don't have them um, until, you know, just looking at this and then trying to come up with a good way to memorize this. Um, the integral of um, secant x to the third dx is one-half natural log absolute value secant x plus tangent x plus one-half secant x times tangent x. All right, um, I'm sure you can find this uh, a video somewhere on YouTube that does this integral, maybe even on my own channel. I can't even remember if I've done it or not. All right, but that is the answer to that. So the question is, how can we um, maybe come up with some tips to help memorize this, okay? Now, I am going to assume that you already have memorized that the integral of secant x dx is the natural log absolute value secant x plus tangent x. All right, and the reason that I'm, I'm assuming you've already got that memorized, that's pretty standard. Most people do have that memorized. Right there, you can see that in that answer. All right, now, I know derivatives have absolutely nothing to do with this, but the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. All right, so honestly, whenever I see secant, I just automatically think a lot, you know, secant tangent goes with it. It's just pretty consistent there. All right, so if I was going to attempt to try to memorize this answer for the integral of secant x cubed, the first thing I would think is, okay, I've got three of these, and I need to break them up. And I'm going to break them up into the integral of a secant x times a secant squared x. All right, so this would be a secant to the first, and this would be a secant squared, okay? Now, integral of secant x, if you've already got that memorized, you see that right here. So you're going to be thinking, okay, I'm going to take the integral of this right here. Now, I'm also going to take the secant squared x, and I'm not going to think integral. I'm just going to think, okay, derivative, and I'm not going to think derivative of secant squared x. I'm just going to think I've got another secant, and I'm going to take the derivative of it. So maybe kind of think derivative here. All right, now, the reason I put the 1 and the 2 in red is because that's going to help you remember to pull out the 1 half in front of this. All right, and then um, you're going to have two things. You're going to have this answer. You're going to have this answer. So, and Obviously, there's going to be a plus sign in between for that right there. So having the integral of secant x memorized, you would come up with the natural log absolute value secant x plus tangent x. All right, you would automatically have the one half. All right, and then thinking derivative of secant, not secant squared, just derivative of secant, then you'd do secant x tangent x. And then remembering the one and the two, will help you remember the one half that goes out in front of both of them. Okay, so um, definitely at least some connections that can be made with the various parts of that answer. And hopefully those tips are going to help if you are one that are trying to memorize that um, integral. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helpful, be sure and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.